Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Four in the morning and wide the fuck awake. Ever since my surgery, I've been having this thing where I'll be just exhausted at 10 p.m. Go to sleep or, you know, I'm just going to close my eyes for a while. Then wake up like two and a half hours later, feel like I slept for eight hours, and then just be freaking awake. So anyway, um, I was, <laughs> you know, up at one, two, three in the morning. So what do you do? You flip around on your phone. And apparently they had a, uh, the final episode of the book of Boba Fett. And, uh, I noticed something interesting and I kind of no <coughs> noticed a similar thing earlier today. And I was like, how much of cancel culture is just threatening people until they like the unlikable? Uh, I've talked about how a lot of the, you know, usual suspects in comics, they're just, they're just spazzes. You know what I mean? They're just, they're, they're booger eaters. They're just like some weird kid that nobody would ever like. It's just the grown up edition of them. I've been uh, watching a lot of TikToks, especially since I apparently am superhuman and only need two hours of sleep anymore. Um, and uh, <laughs> TikTok, you know, it decides what you like and then it shows you more of that. And let me tell you something. My TikTok, was it called For You page? Uh, I am the most progressive guy in the world. I like everyone from every race every gender, every nationality. If you're funny, you're invited to the cookout that I'm not holding. It's symbolic. It's in my head. Uh, anyway, but um, one of the things I'm realizing is, you know, for years we've had to deal with, you know, it's like, you don't like me because I'm trans. It's like, no, I don't like you and you're trans. It has nothing to do with you being trans. You're just not likable. And then I was running down, you know, all the usual suspects from the last couple of years. I was like, yeah, it's not that you're gay. It's that you're unlikable. You're also gay, but that's not why you're unlikable. So this book of Boba Fett, I guess there were some kind of cringy things. And I noticed there was, you know, people, oh, I liked it for this reason. I didn't like it for this reason. But then the SJWs were basically ordering people to like it. And if you didn't like it, they were saying how you were wrong. Uh, one time, a long time ago, I interviewed for Cisco. Uh, it was like technical sales. And um, it, was, uh, it, it went bad. It went really, really bad. They had this weird thing where they sent like three different emails telling you like, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. But one of them, you were supposed to click something and then it would take you to a website showing like all the other things you're supposed to do. So I showed up with like two thirds of preparation and it's a whole day panel of interviewing. So I know I'm not getting this job, but whatever, I'm there just in case a miracle happens. So at one point this guy, you know, uh, he's like, uh, our Cisco uh, uh, slogan is the internet of everything. What do you think that means? Or they say, I think he said feel like, how do you feel about that? You know, what does it mean to you? So I told him my take on the phrase, the internet of everything. And then he got really stony faced and he said, no, you're wrong. It's like, motherfucker, you asked my opinion. Opinions aren't wrong. Uh, so I guess this is an epiphany that I should have realized years ago in that SJWs and cancel culture. Yeah, it's a power game and it's people enjoying hurting others while cloaking themselves in sanctimony. But a lot of it is just unlikable people trying to force you into liking themselves and unlikable things. I saw the clips from Book of Boba Fett that people were complaining about, and yeah, it looks really stupid. And I'm not gonna be forced into liking something or someone. The answer is just that you're extremely unlikable and you're using current political climate to basically gaslight people into liking you and you suck. It's not because you're gay. It's not because you're trans. It's not because you're black. It's not because you're a woman. It's because you yourself, your personality sucks. I saw the scenes for the book of Boba Fett that they were basically ordering you to like, they suck. You suck. 
You know, the killer is inside the house. It's you. It was you all along. Anyway, just an epiphany I had at 4 a.m. while not able to sleep. Thanks for watching. Bye.